when VLOOKUP cannot find a value in a lookup table, it returns pound NA error. The pound NAs look bad when lookup functions are used on reports. The if error function allows you to catch errors and return a custom value when there is an error. We have a list of companies and CEOs. The other list shows names and salaries. A VLOOKUP function can be used to combine the two tables. We don't have salary information for all the CEOs, so we have a lot of pound NA errors. In order to hide the errors, we will use the if error function to return a blank if there is no information available. The if error function accepts a value or formula for its first argument and an alternate return value for its second argument. Pass the VLOOKUP function as the first argument and an empty string as the second argument. If VLOOKUP returns an error, the second argument that is empty string is returned. The second argument can be anything you want such as no info etc. The if error function checks for every error that Excel can return including pound NA, pound division by zero and pound value. You cannot restrict which errors if error catches. The if NA function traps and handle pound NA errors specifically. If NA returns true, if its argument returns pound NA and returns false for anything else, including other errors. The syntax is the same as with the if error function. To download the practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.